and welcome back to another episode of Mindak Outdoors. We've been spending, my family and I have been spending the last few days in the Anchorage area, but me, Sam, and my dad have snuck away for about a day and a half, and we are actually kind of, I'm not really sure where we're at, but we're kind of by the Russian River and the Kenai where they meet, and we're gonna be doing some fishing for some sockeye today, but we made a stop at this small little fly shop right here. It's pretty sweet. This is literally like, guys, I'm literally in the mountains right now. Cars driving by me. There's a lake right there. And there's this tiny fly shop right there. Just right there. That thing is so small, but we had to stop there and pick up a few things. I just came out here to do the intro for you guys. But yeah, so the game plan for today is we're gonna go to the Russian River and we're gonna try catching some big sockeye salmon. Well guys, we have made it to the Russian River and we're gonna do some fishing for some reds and probably some rainbows. We've been hearing some reports that the red fishing hasn't been that great as of right now, but we're still gonna try. We're gonna be fly fishing um, and yeah, we're gonna see how it goes, but it might rain. I don't have waterproof housing for my GoPro, so we'll see how that goes. I also know that the big camera, I'm not gonna take it out if it's freaking raining like crazy, but right now this is the, the Russian river right there and we're gonna try catching some, some big old fish. Boys, this looks this looks pretty crazy right now though. Literally, they made this really nice trail right here. Everything's like green, rivers right there, seagulls, people. I've seen a few people that have some fish. I don't know if they're reds or not. Like I honestly have no clue. I couldn't see very well, but yeah, we'll see how this goes. All right, folks. Well, I am all rigged up finally. Got the old fly rod. I'm gonna have to show you this rig though. This rig is freaking. It's some rig. Hold on. Let me let me get my footing though. All right, so this current is absolutely ripping, but right here we have just a cheap fly rod right here. This is a 10 weight, so it can withstand the fight of these fish. And I just, like what the guy told us is just to run 30 pound braid, or 30 pound mono on this. So 30 pound mono. And then right here we have a coho fly, I picked a red one. And you have to have it 18 inches from your weight. So this is my weight. Most people, you can, you can do weights different types of ways. Uh, you can either get like a snap swivel and put a like a, some split shots or just another kind of sinker weight. But the guy suggested to take this black tube and actually run the line through there and put a lead weight inside of there just like that. So we have our weight and our you know, little black thingy right here, 18 inches away from our coho fly. And I really don't know how to fish this that well, but like I'll just kind of give a quick demonstration. Basically, all you do is just yeah. Uh, you flop it upstream and then you just kind of bounce it along like this and then you just keep doing that just like that you're on yeah dude dude you're on he's on sam's on sam's on hey bring it over here bring it over here bring it over here bring it over here good job come here good job good job careful 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 all right boys i'm hooked up with my first one let's get it Yeah. Saw you, my dude. Ah, scared it! Yeah, he snagged him. There's one in his mouth, though. Oh, really? Yeah, dude. It's an old one, dude. It is an old one. Dude, he's got he's three got hooks. hooks dude. dude. Wow. Okay, here, you wanna hold He's got, we have, we have to take some hooks out of him, but dang, he is veteran. Oh, wow. Easy guy. This guy had four other hooks in him. It had my hook yeah. and then three other people's hooks. It was probably my third or second cast in that pool over there. Oh, yeah? And I snagged him, so we gotta release him. He's kinda old anyway, so we weren't gonna keep him anyway, but it's a good one. So fourth one I've caught or hooked today, second one I landed, it's a pretty fresh one, 
I think we're gonna take him home and fillet him up for you guys. And then maybe do a catch and cook, maybe. Yeah, he had another hook in him too, so a lot of people have been pressuring this. The run's almost done. The first run is almost done. The second run is coming up soon, so let's go back in the hole and try and catch another one. Yeah. That is a big one. Oh yeah, boys, hooked up. Six one today. Sheesh. Woo! Let's get it, boys. Oh yeah. Another red for Chaboy. Let's get it. Well, as you can see, Sam is the expert fly fisherman. He ended up landing, how many did you land? Sam ended up landing three fish and he had like, I don't know, maybe five or four or six hooked. I don't know, but we were lucky to land two of them that and were not felt hooked. So we got to keep them and eat them. So look at this meat that we will be bringing home to eat. There's another bag of it too, but we are gonna travel from here all the way to my grandma's cabin, and then we're gonna do the cook part of this fish. So, you guys better stay tuned for the cook part of this video. And just like that, we have made it to my grandma's remote island somewhere in Alaska, and we're gonna be doing the cook part to this video. So, like I said before, we are on a beach right now in a remote island, and we caught those reds that you guys saw, and actually right now, we're gonna cook them up on a fire on this beach. Sam's over there getting the fire and the fish prepared. I'll show you guys that in a bit. So yeah, we're gonna be doing this uh, catch and cook. We're gonna finish this cook part on this beach. So hope you guys enjoy. Alright guys, our salmon is finally done. Um, we're gonna get a little piece here and try it. That's pretty good, guys. Well, if you guys have never done this, you gotta try it. Well, give me some. Alright, gonna give her a try right here. This is uh, courtesy of Sam. Oh. Uh, it tastes like it was caught this morning. Oh god, yeah. It was caught this morning, that's a joke. And that is where we are gonna end today's video. We hope you guys enjoyed this catch and cook video. It was fun to film and I mean, it was, it's good. It was really good eating. Shout out to Sam for making that and catching all of it. Let's Thanks buddy, it. thanks buddy. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below and hit that little bell on the side. That's gonna let you guys know when we post a video. But again, this is where Sam and I are gonna be for the next two weeks so expect a lot of bangers coming make sure to hit that notification like i said earlier and yeah stay tuned for the the next few videos that we're gonna be posting they are gonna be lit so thank you so much for watching see you guys next time